Hi, I'm Jay with Wilhelmina Creative. We have Sage, hair and makeup artist and men's groomer with us here today, and she's going to show us some of her techniques for men's grooming on one of our models, Walker. Let's see what she has to show us. Okay, I'm going to be trimming Walker's hair. Um, I'm all about proportion in terms of haircuts. We will evaluate the side, the side burn um, based on his profile. So I'm thinking a little bit longer boyish and modern. I'm going to come in and kind of thin it out in through here very conservatively and trim the sideburns um, first and kind of work around that. such as uh, Revlon Photo Ready. It really does compare to the Christian Dior or anything out there. It's got a nice pigment. We could apply it and kind of pat it uh, only in the areas that are needed. Of course, a little bit of powder as needed. And then after we get done, I like to use a foundation brush. Natural, this is actually happens to be a natural fiber um, to kind of take off any excess and add a little bit of sheen. And um, basically when it comes down to the hair, a hair fiber uh, is quite nice. It doesn't, it's not like a gel. You do want to have all those products, you want to be ready, uh, depending on what the client is requesting. But uh, a fiber is really best on all scenarios. So um, basically you want to have cleansing tissues. Um, you want to have some kind of a nice serum. This is an automizer mixed with a little bit of glycerin. This is really comes in handy in many ways because you could mix this with a little bit of water and create the perfect inexpensive primer. Um, at the same time, uh, it's a little moisture than if you were to add a silicone primer and it's better for men. You could also use this on the body for a super nice sheen. Um, typical bronzer, I like a bronzer without uh, any gold fleck in it. I prefer to use this as opposed to something with a gold fleck in it. Um, and then of course brow color, which could come in gel form. 
or powder form and you always want to have a selection and kind of mix the shades. You want to mix the taupe with a little bit of brown. It looks a lot more natural. And then of course take your concealer brush and go on the edges and make sure that you kind of make it blend and work and you, you don't have the fine edges on the eyebrows.